this is Sarah from LifeShouldCostLess.com and I have for you my first ever YouTube tutorial and it is how to make your slow cooker clean itself. It's super easy and it requires minimal scrubbing which is awesome. Anyway, so you start out by having your slow cooker on the off setting and you fill it up just above that ring of crud that you probably probably got there by underestimating your dishwasher's cleaning power or maybe you're just like me and sometimes you totally space it and leave something cooking way too long. Anyway, so I'm filling it up with water just over the ring of crud and next you take one cup of vinegar, pour it on in there and now is the fun part. It is just baking soda and you pour it in just a little at a time and get way excited for the chemical reaction. So you wait for it to die down and then you add a bit more. See you can see it's already starting to lift some of the yucky stuff. And then just keep adding a bit more. Let the bubbles die down again. Keep adding it until you're done with the one cup. Okay, now all you do, put your lid on, set it on low for anywhere from four hours to overnight. I'm just gonna slide it back on the counter and we'll check on it in the morning. Good morning everybody. Uh, so it was running all night and I'm going to show you. So now it's the time you turn it off and then you take the lid off. I'm going to show you how nasty you can see everything that's floating and then a bunch of the stuff fell from the walls and is on the ground, uh, the bottom of it now. Anyway, so I usually just set my lid like this. Or just make sure that it can can let a lot of the heat escape and then I come back in about an hour or so and just wash it like I normally do and everything comes right off and we will show you the final result after I wash it. All right so all I did next was take it to my sink. <laughs> Sorry my husband's making faces at me. I took it over to my sink and I washed it like I normally do and it was just coming off in a matter of seconds. Anyway, as you can see, it is perfectly clean and ready to go for your next barbecue or gathering. You don't want to be embarrassed over how dirty your slow cooker is. Thanks.